Well, welcome back. All right, so we're gonna go straight for that cloud and I think I've killed everything. Okay, run, run, run. Gotta make sure to regenerate my stuff. So what the heck is going on here? What is this? You can see on our mini map, ooh, there's a Kodama, but hey, how do I get there? You little guy. Kind of, there's probably a way to get to him. And when you find Kodama, they're usually in very sneaky spots that require you to really traverse the level. But let's figure out what this cloud is. I'm nervous, oh my God. All right, what's this enemy? All right, so we got a, it's a yokai. Let's just run away. He pulse this. Okay, he's throwing something. Oh, wow. That took a lot of my key. Let's just study him, see what's going on. Oh God, run away. So we did like one attack, one attack there. Oh God, I don't want to get hit by that. So he throws, he jumps in the air and he throws it. One, two, and then a poke, right? Yeah, okay, 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 I figured that out. Let's see, any weak spots? Ooh, run away from that, oh my god. All right, it looks like he has a horn. Yeah, he has that single horn. Oh, ow, that hurt. That didn't hurt as much as I thought. All right, he's got... Whoa, what's that? Okay, just take your time and study. Okay, he's just throwing that again. Ooh, and then he rolls after. Maybe after he... Maybe if I avoid the throw, then I can get a hit. Ooh, he only did two hits. I thought he was gonna do... Oh my god, he changed it up with the poke. I'm gonna heal. Okay, run! Alright, boom, 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 boom. He pulse, let's get out of here. Okay, he's doing the throw again. Okay, let's do morning moon. Oh no, I didn't do it in time. Run away, run away! Oh god, oh god! Take your time. Okay, he has a little pause after that. I'm gonna run away, okay. Alright, now I'm gonna go to form morning moon. Keep pulse, flux. One, two, poke. Okay, I'm gonna run. Get an attack off. Oh! There's that slam thing. Ooh, I got the horn. Let's go for Morning Moon. Let's go for it again. Oh no, I'm out of key. What do I do? Oh shoot, he's still attacking. Oh, he got his, he did the yeah, round back. Run away. Oh shoot. All right, what are you doing? Ooh, okay, that's a new one. One, two, are you gonna do the poke? Okay, I'm gonna run in, quick hit. Keep pulse, flux, run away. Boop. Flux. All right, now I can go for a morning moon. Yes! Ooh, 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 what's going on here? Loot, loot, loot. What the heck? Enki Soul Core. What on earth? Ooh, and it looks like I have enough points to level up. Uh, I don't know what just happened, but let's go to, go back to the shrine. I want to be safe. All right. So yeah, it's totally okay to go back to the shrine, be completely safe. I get a level up, and it looks like I got a got a soul core as well. One, and if you look on the left, one soul core purified. Okay, what's going on? Let's first level up. Um, what do I even want? Uh, I want to be able to equip heavier armor, don't I? Is that that's what I'm going for. And I, I already got all this stuff in my guardian spirit, so. I want to be able to equip heavier armor. I want to actually be able to equip a headpiece and an arm guard. So I think I'll go for stamina. I think that'll help me. I got just enough points to do so. All right, let's level up stamina. Great, now I can equip even more. Let's see what I'm able to equip. Can I even equip anything? Oh, I'm so close to being able to equip this. Just to have something on. Maybe I can change things around? Oh, but Oh man, okay, I guess I can't right now, but I'll I'll keep going for it because I want to be able to equip a lot heavier stuff. And you know, I, I survived that guy, so I can afford to not have armor right away. Hey, I could equip this pretty soon if I just get my equipment weight down. And then I'll have that 200 toughness. That'll be really good for defensive stuff. And then I don't got to worry as much. But what the heck did I just pick up? Actually, before I figure that out, I get any stronger weapons? Or by level. Ooh, a level six switchglaive. Well, I'm not going to be using a switchglaive. I'm going to be using a sword for the duration of this. I got some accessories. How are those accessories? Divination board. Um, well, uh, the defense doesn't really matter. And I don't really care about those special effects. They don't really pop out to me. So I'll just leave that alone. You can keep these for like forever if you want. Okay, so, what did I just pick up? 
So I actually picked up a soul core and eventually we, we're, it's kind of weird we don't unlock manage soul cores right here. But here, let me kind of show you a cool little trick. Change guardian spirit. You see at the bottom, you have the buttons for release guardian spirit, which means you can unequip it, which I wouldn't advise. I advise you equip it. Then you've got a tune soul core. So let's do that. This is a little workaround. Ooh, end key soul core. What the heck? We've got a lot of information here. So you take a look at the bottom right, you'll see a video being played. Whoa, I can actually do that attack? Wait, is that, is that, is that what's going on? The answer is yes. You actually get to use that Enki's ability. So you can jump up in the air and throw that massive spear. So what is all this information here? So let's talk about that. So soul core is level two and the level goes up to i think like 200 in the game um all level dictates are really the stats here so this is telling you how much attack this will give you how much defense that will give you and this is the soul core rank as the rank goes up these special effects will increase in value so this is a letter grade anima bonus based on the damage you take and we're going to start talking about anima now so if you, it's a C grade, which I don't know really how to quantify that, but it seems like a somewhat okay-ish way. If you take damage, you get some anima. Okay, you do extra damage against humans with melee weapons. Uh, if you're in Yokai Shift, which I will talk about too. I don't know if I'll talk about it in this video, um, but then there is, yeah, I don't think I'll talk about it in this video. But with Yokai Shift, you get earned more gold, your Amrita gauge charge, is up by a little percent and then here's the yokai ability monkey dance let's take a look at the description for it transform into an enki and bound into the air using a spear before flinging it at enemies in front of you it's so cool it costs five anima so that's the second resource we have that we're going to learn to manage so we have key which normal attacks use key most actions in general use key, but anima is specific to yokai related things. And this is a yokai ability. And it costs five anima. So, really important. And then attunement cost. So, as you can see, on the left hand side, we have two slots. Now, if these two slots have an attunement cost that is greater than 18, then you can't equip them both. It's just basically preventing you from, and, and this is kind of a spoiler, you'll eventually be able to equip boss soul cores, and so the game is trying to prevent you from having like the absolute most powerful, ridiculously overpowered combinations where you can have like three super boss cores together. It's just to prevent stuff like that. Um, it's, it's just to make things a bit more fair, but you can still make some massively powerful things with just a little bit of mindful combinations. But for now, we only have one soul core, so we're gonna put it so let's just put it in the slot so now to use this yokai ability let's just put it into the slot of r2 plus triangle if you don't want to do that you can remove it and then let's see how do i change my slot let's press back go down to the slot and i can attune it here if i so desire heck i can even change a slot and put it there so pretty handy i'm gonna put it in l2 triangle just because or sorry r2 triangle just because it's really a matter of preference but now i've equipped it and here's something that's interesting i want you to take a look here but you know how we get this attack stat and this defense stat they're not the same as what's here you, you'd think hey why is this lower well that's because of these multipliers guardian spirits have their own multipliers for how they adjust soul core stats so in this case you can see it's kind of a defensive ish guardian spirit i mean it kind of makes sense you've got life um you've got life drain you got various things and for example you have uh, tenacity which basically means you won't die from burning to death um if you just have like the if you're burning or you're being poisoned you don't lose you won't just die you'll stay at one hp which is still pretty precarious but you don't have to worry about like oh god i didn't pop an antidote for poison or oh i didn't put out the fire that's on me um, if you step in fire, that's different. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> but this is nice. So this Guardian Spirit is very defensive and it kind of fits. So this is saying, hey, you're going to lose a bit to the multiplier in terms of your attack, but you're going to get greater gains for your defense. So that's why there is a change. And so this can help you with any sort of build work you have. 
But for now, we've got a yokai ability. And let's just see what it looks like in action. So I know we have the video that's over here on the right hand side. But let's just actually use it. Alright, so. And I know we got a skill point, but we'll deal with that a bit later. Um, so, what does it look like? R2. You got the horns out, right? Whoosh! And that was pretty cool. And it costs five anima. And how much anima do I have? I got five. Hey, let's go test it against this Gaki. How much damage do you do? Bonk! 420! Look at all that key damage and max key damage! Bonk! 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 Oh, I missed. Cool. Alright, we murdered that guy. So... I'll deal with Anima I'll have to explain that in a bit, but for now, let's just digest that information. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a bit.